Hi, I'm Charlie Lau Jr. Uh, back at you again, uh, obviously talking about hitting, but this time um, we actually have a girl uh, who I've been working with now for about three weeks, and um, it's, uh, it, it's kind of interesting because many softball coaches, uh, you know, uh, right now girls softball, maybe even, you know, five, six, seven years ago has taken off dramatically, and, uh, you know, um, basically the coaches that I've seen or that I've been around seem to think that the swing should be different than the baseball swing. And so my argument is, uh, you know, from a laws of physics standpoint, as we're generating energy into the swing, uh, I believe strongly that it should be the same as a baseball swing. So some of the things that I see, uh, basically with Rachel, when she showed up, she had her bat a little too far forward so she started here and a little too far away from her body. And the other thing she had was a vertical bat angle, which makes the swing longer. So she would start from here and then automatically take her hands back to here. And the reason she did that is because it feels much more comfortable to swing from here. So that's what we want to do. We don't want wasted motion, just like we talked before till we were blue in the face uh, about you know, wasting motion. We don't want to do that, okay? So that was one of the things we did. The other thing that I noticed about Rachel was she swung really too hard, um, and she couldn't stay on the ball. Um, so basically, uh, you know, we tried to get her more fluid, uh, and I'll show you in a little while. We'll do some drills with her. And the other thing we saw, which is very um, common, commonly taught uh, in the girls' softball swing, is they basically turn on their back foot, which causes the hips and the shoulders to open up prematurely. So that doesn't that that basically keeps us from from staying in in the hitting zone for a long time, staying on the ball for a long time, and we don't see a whole lot of backspin with the ball carrying you know to right center or left center simply because the swing is rushed. And instead of starting the stride earlier where you have more reaction time and you don't interrupt the natural sequences of the swing. Uh, I've heard coaches say, swing faster. And that to me uh, doesn't make any sense. We have, to, we have to have time to take a good swing. So now we're gonna get into uh, what we did for Rachel to straighten out her swing and, and, uh, and we're gonna take care of it. Just like earlier uh, when we were working with uh, the other players, what I wanna do is get Rachel comfortable swinging from back here, okay? And, you know, obviously we create speed the same way by pulling the knob of the bat to the ball. So wherever the knob goes is where the barrel's gonna go. So I'm gonna show her, I'm gonna teach her not to swing with her shoulders, but to swing with her hands. And there's a little uh, dry swinging drill that I do to get somebody to feel that they're not swinging with their shoulders. And basically what I do, go ahead and get back in your, your launch position here. I tell them to, to swing, swing. So now she's pulling with her shoulders because she wasn't able to pull the barrel out of my hand. So I want you to swing with your hands, not your shoulders. Go ahead. See, yes. So that's, that's where you actually feel both hands pulling the knob to the ball. So this drill is called no feet, no shoulders, okay? And we're going to have her do it off the tee first, sitting in a chair, because she's spoiled and she's a girl. <laughs> Here we go. Open top in and be nice and relaxed. Okay, she has a problem of being, she likes to rush and be real stiff and tight, so we're going to have to get her to relax a little bit, and I'm going to help you here, and when I tell you to swing, I want you to swing, swing, there, okay, now, the difference, that, that had backspin on it, but the difference between the swing was, was pretty huge to me, um, the first one was rushed and muscled, and the second one was nice and aggressive and also fluid. So we're gonna keep doing this drill. And again, as I continue to hold her where uh, she starts her bat from, all of a sudden now that becomes familiar and it becomes much more comfortable for her. So let me get some more balls and we're gonna go ahead and take some more swings because that last one was pretty good. And let's make sure that wasn't a fluke, Rachel. Okay, you ready? Swing. Good. You see all the, the real good extension here and I will end up slowing that down. So you see that the shoulders aren't turning, which means that the shoulders aren't interrupting, the hands creating the club head speed. So we're gonna take another swing and uh, 
Ready? Swing. Okay. 